everyone, this is going to be Allura's overview of the MAC Colorizations Collection. It launches at Nordstrom's July 29th and then in MAC locations on August 4th. As always, you can get them online at maccosmetics.com a few days before they actually launch in stores. The items I'll be covering are the eight Pro Palette eyeshadow duos and the four technical liners that are included in this collection. So in this video, we'll see how all of these items swatch and what the colors and finishes look like. And then, of course, you can go to the blog for more photos, swatches, and then reviews on each of these products. First, let's take a look at the technical eyeliners. These are $15 each, and the four colors are Left to Right, Purple Dash, Auto de Blue, Uniform, and Jade Way. Now, in terms of the packaging, these are plastic pencils, so they have a snap-off top, and then you twist the top to reveal more of the product as you're using it up. First, I'm going to swatch Purple Dash. MAC describes this as an intense aubergine color, basically meaning it's a purple color. The technical liners, they glide on really smoothly, so you won't be tugging at your skin when you're applying them. Next is Auto de Blue, which is this blue amethyst color. Next is Uniform, which is a very deep khaki green color and has tiny gold pearls in it. And last is Jade Way, which is a emerald green color with a bit of a frost finish. Alright, so there's the four colors from left to right, Purple Dash, Auto de Blue, Uniform, and Jade Way. Um, the two colors on the left have a flat finish, and then the two colors on the right have a frost and slightly shimmery finish. You probably won't be able to tell on the eyelids either way, um, but if you want to know the different finishes, that's the distinction. All of them, I think, are pretty wearable, so if you want to veer away from just normal black or brown, you can definitely use these colors. They're not too bright or too flashy, and the formula is really nice. Um, the pencil itself is soft, and the liner glides on smoothly on the skin. Next, we have the Pro Palette eyeshadows. These are eyeshadow duos. They are $25 each. Um, MAC didn't give these any unique or interesting names. They're just named Double Feature 1 through 8. These are the first four, so from left to right, top to bottom, you have Double Features 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here's Double Feature 1, it's Double Feature 2, Double Feature 3, and Double Feature 4. Okay, I'm going to start by swatching Double Feature 1 starting with the color on the left, which is a bright yellow gold color. And as always, I swatch with an eyeshadow brush. I don't use my fingers, um, as you'll see with some other videos, because most of us don't apply shadow with our fingers, so swatching it with a brush gives you a more realistic idea of what it'll look like when you actually buy the product and apply it to your skin. So that's the color on the left, then the color on the right, This is a duochromed purple color. It's supposed to duochrome with pink. It goes on with a little bit of um, lack of intensity on the first swatch. The color on the left is a Velux Pearl finish, and the color on the right, that purple color, is a frost finish. Next up for Devil Feature 2, the color on the right. This is a bright lime green color. And I'm not telling you the individual names of the shadows because they don't have individual names. Color on the left is this mid-toned gray color. Again, the color on the left, which is that bright lime color, is a Velux Pearl finish. And this gray color here is a satin finish. Now again, you see that gray color on the left, a little uneven, a little lacking in intensity and pigmentation, but that's 
typical of satin finishes when it comes to MAC eyeshadows. Next up, Double Feature 3, the color on the left. It's a mid-toned teal color. And this is a matte finish, and the color payoff is pretty good. A lot of times MAC matte finishes are very disappointing in terms of color payoff. Um, the matte squared formula is much better. This is a regular matte formula formulation, um, and you get a good amount of color and a good amount of pigmentation out of it. And the color on the right is this deep chocolate color. Again, a satin finish, and again, a little uneven, a um, little unimpressive in terms of finish. It's that chocolate color there. Alright, so here are the colors and what they look like from the first three duos with just one layer swatched, and these are swatched over eye primer. And here are the same colors with a second layer. Starting with double feature number four, the color on the left. It's supposed to be a deep forest green color. And this is a Velux pearl finish. Again, poor pigmentation. The color on the right. This is a, what MAC describes as a mid-toned ochre brown. And here are double features 5 through 8. This is number 5, number 6, number 7, and number 8. For number 5, the color on the left is a pale frosty peach color. This is a frost finish, and this color, I forgot to mention, is a matte finish. Again, pretty impressive finish for being a normal matte formulation. So going back to number five, the color on the right. This is a dark medium, medium toned brown, um, and it again is a duo chrome. has green pearls in it and is a frost finish. For number six, the color on the left is a light taupe gray color. It's a matte finish. The color on the right has a Velux pearl finish and is a mid-toned brown color. Alright, so here you go. This is numbers four, five, and six, and this is with one layer on top of primer. And here's what the colors look like when you add a second layer. And for number seven, the color on the right is a bright fuchsia color. This is a frost finish. Good pigmentation on this color here. And the color on the right is a cool black color, a satin finish. And for double feature 8, the color on the left is a mid-toned orange color with a frost finish. And the color on the right is a deep navy color, also with a satin finish. Okay, so here you go, double feature 7 and 8 with one layer applied over primer. And here's two layers. Alright, so there you have the items from the MAC Colorizations Collection. It's available already in stores at Nordstrom's and will be available at MAC stores on August 4th. Make sure to check out the links below to the blog for reviews on the items and for more photos of swatches. And also make sure to keep up to date. There's almost always a giveaway going on at the blog, so if you're interested in getting some free items, then make sure to go check those out. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.